Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to present water use in the Ogallala Aquifer. The Ogallala Aquifer, typically called the High Plains Aquifer by the U.S. Geological Survey, covers an area of approximately 174,000 square miles. And in that area, there's 244 counties that report they withdraw water from the aquifer. Although not all of the 244 counties reported withdrawals in 2015. The Ogallala Aquifer was the most heavily pumped principal aquifer in the nation in 2015. Withdrawals of 12,300 million gallons per day accounted for almost 15% of all groundwater withdrawals. And 19% of all groundwater withdrawals from unconsolidated and semi-consolidated sand and gravel aquifers. The Mississippi River Valley Alluvial Aquifer, also an unconsolidated sand and gravel aquifer, was the second most heavily pumped principal aquifer with withdrawals of 12,100 million gallons per day. Almost 95% of all the withdrawals were for irrigation. This graph shows groundwater withdrawals in million gallons per day for all categories for all eight states in 2015. Nebraska, Texas, and Kansas are the states with the largest withdrawals. And clearly the largest category of use from this graph is for irrigation. This map shows the top or the largest category of withdrawal in the Ogallala Aquifer in 2015 by county. Not surprising, there are 209 counties of the 244 where groundwater withdrawals for irrigation were the largest category. There were 11 counties that showed public supply as the largest category, including Potter County in Texas, where part of Amarillo is. Five of the counties showed livestock as the largest withdrawal. Two counties showed mining, including Converse County, Wyoming, which is in the Powder River Basin. Converse County is in the far northwest part of Wyoming and is in the orange color. One county showed self-supplied domestic as the largest category, and one county showed thermoelectric. The county that showed thermoelectric is Ector County, Texas, there are two power plants in Ector County. Currently, they both show that they purchase surface water or that they purchase water for uh, the plants. But at one time in the past, one of the two plants did have groundwater wells. From 2000 to 2015, fresh groundwater withdrawals from the Ogallala Aquifer for public supply, irrigation, and industry decreased about 32% from 17,500 million gallons per day to 12,000 million gallons per day. Most of the decrease was attributed to irrigation withdrawals, which decreased from 17,000 million gallons per day in 2000 to 11,600 million gallons per day in 2015, and occurred primarily in three states, Nebraska, Texas, and Kansas. In addition, withdrawals from the aquifer for public supply decreased from 389 million gallons per day to 254 million gallons per day, and withdrawals for industry decreased from approximately 99 million gallons per day to 65 million gallons per day over the same time period. There were 85 counties in Nebraska that reported use of the Ogallala Aquifer. From 2000 to 2015, irrigation withdrawals in the Ogallala Aquifer decreased by 2,180 million gallons per day. 49 counties in Texas report that they use the Ogallala Aquifer. From 2000 to 2015, irrigation withdrawals decreased by 1,830 million gallons per day. For Texas, there is data available yearly by aquifer, so we can take a closer look at the largest three categories. This graph shows irrigation withdrawals from the Ogallala Aquifer from 2000 to 2018. Data for municipal or public supply withdrawals in Texas are available back to 1980. This graph shows municipal or public supply withdrawals 
from 1980 to 2018. And lastly, the third category, livestock withdrawals in Texas from 2000 to 2018. I was curious about the peak in 2006. And so I took a look at the NOAA state of climate drought information. And it showed in May of 2006, all of the high plains in Texas was in a severe drought. And in June of 2006, all of the high plains was in an extreme drought. But what's curious is in 2010 and 2011, instead of a peak, there's a dip. And also if you take a look at the irrigation withdrawals for the same two time periods in 2006 and 2010 and 11, there's actually a drop in withdrawals rather than an increase. All of the data from the last three slides, the annual data for irrigation, municipal or public supply and livestock are all from the Texas Water Development Board. 54 counties in Kansas report use of the Ogallala Aquifer. From 2000 to 2015, irrigation withdrawals decreased by 1,250 million gallons per day. In 2000, livestock withdrawals were not a required element for the National U.S. Geological Survey compilation. So many of the states that we're going to take a look at the comparative data from 2000 to 2015 likely do not have livestock withdrawals reported in 2000. Six counties in Wyoming report that they use the Ogallala Aquifer. Irrigation withdrawals will remain mostly constant between 2000 and 2015. And again, no livestock withdrawals were reported by the U.S. Geological Survey and the National Compilation in 2000. In Oklahoma, 11 counties report that they use the Ogallala Aquifer. Oklahoma was one of two states along with South Dakota that showed an increase in irrigation withdrawals between 2000 and 2015. In South Dakota, six counties report that they use the Ogallala. From 2000 to 2015, irrigation withdrawals increased in South Dakota. Again, no livestock withdrawals were reported in 2000 during the U.S. Geological Survey compilation. 10 counties in New Mexico report that they use the Ogallala Aquifer. Irrigation withdrawals decreased slightly from 2000 to 2015. In New Mexico, the Ogallala Aquifer was the most heavily pumped aquifer for irrigation in 2000 at 500 million gallons per day, compared to the Roswell Basin Aquifer with withdrawals at 364 million gallons per day. In Colorado, 16 counties report that they use the Ogallala Aquifer. In 2000, the Ogallala Aquifer had the most withdrawals for irrigation of all the aquifers in Colorado at 830 million gallons per day, compared to the Rio Grande Aquifer system with withdrawals at 720 million gallons per day. In 2020, the U.S. Geological Survey published this circular 1464 estimated groundwater withdrawals from principal aquifers in the United States and a companion data release which contains the estimates of water use withdrawal in Excel format and downloadable. All the slides or nearly all the data for all the slides in this presentation were obtained from the companion data release to this report. The U.S. Geological Survey identifies 62 principal aquifers. Estimates of water use are available for most of the 62 principal aquifers that had withdrawal data in 2015. This circular provides more detailed information on aquifers with the largest withdrawals. Data for the Ogallala Aquifer for 2000 were obtained from the Maupin and Barber 2005 report shown here. This report predates the U.S. Geological Survey's data release format. However, the data from this report is still available for download at the URL shown here. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions?